Among the hills of Palo Alto is a two mile long particle accelerator. But underground, instead of smashing atoms, it's being used to take pictures of them. The laser produces pulses of X-rays, which are sent along the tunnel. This is the world's most powerful X-ray laser. It's a billion times brighter than anything that came before. Each pulse inside here has as much power as the national grid of a large country. And a hundred of these pulses hurtle along here every second. All this power makes the beam so bright that it's able to light up individual atoms. Here the pulses travel so fast that they can outrun the damage they cause to this bacteria. Dr Meng Liang is preparing an experiment to study Parkinson's disease. This is the, the world's first free electron laser and what that means is that the x-rays are brighter and stronger than they are anywhere else uh, really in the world. And so we've, using that source, we've been able to look at things that are smaller, um, that have just not been accessible to other light sources before. It's enabling researchers to see molecules in living things as they've never been seen before. In time, they hope to take pictures of viruses. And the x-rays then diffract off at many, many different angles. This will help them find out how many diseases take hold and how to stop them. This genuinely is a revolution. It, it, it transforms our ability to look at matter in, in a new way. We can look at atoms and molecules on the, on the timescales and, and on the, with a resolution in which they operate in real life, whether it be biology, whether it be chemistry, or whether it be advanced materials. The laser has been so successful that the Japanese government has built a similar system. And scientists in the UK will be involved in a European X-ray laser being built in Hamburg. Palav Ghosh, BBC News, San Jose.